Hello! Welcome to a very special Voodoo Ranger themed Art to Art episode. Hello everyone! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you to Voodoo Ranger for sponsoring the stream. Uh, Voodoo Ranger is releasing their next great IPA and the choice is in your hands. You can go to votevoodoo.com to cast your vote on which IPA gets made. Today we're trying out their two newest flavors, Agent 77 and Captain Dynamite, not Captain Dynamic. Uh, so the difference between these two, this one, uh, well, I'm not even on screen. 1877 is a refined IPA brewed with international Nelson Sauvin and galaxy hops to create a fruity and floral IPA galaxy hops. That's out of this world. Yeah. And then, and then Captain Dynamic, uh, is a hazy IPA juiced with mosaic Simcoe and cascade hops and exploding with tropical citrus flavors and aroma. Wow. That, I don't know, I don't know what a lot of those words mean, but they sound delicious. <laughs> so before we get started, we're going to try these and uh, we're going to talk about like which one gets our vote. Which one are we so trying? which one? Somebody just cracked one open. No, no, I didn't. I, that was definitely the answer. <laughs> wait, wait, which one do you need? <laughs> I, did, uh, one? I did Captain Dynamic. Uh, definitely Captain Dynamite. Mine. Oh, dynamite! Yeah, Captain Dynamics. Your nickname, right, Jordan? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try Captain Dynamite first. I think we should try them at the same time, just like. Okay. It's weird. You already did it. It's weird. It's good. It's good. Yeah, I like it. It's very smooth. Ooh. Yeah, I like. Was this the one with the little extra citrus in it? Was that what that was? Yeah, that really does come through. I'm normally not think, like crazy th about that... IPAs, but I feel like it. It's pretty tasty. I was gonna be that honest, one has like just off of the visual. I wanted to go for Agent Seventy Seven, but I, I mean, I have. Do you haven't even tried it yet? I know, though. but I'm just saying, it's starting off pretty good. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say that I think that one has the lower IBU, which is like a bitterness rating. Mm. So I think that's why, it, like, it doesn't really taste like an IPA, which tends to be more hoppy and bitter. All right, mm -hmm. cracking open Seventy Seven. That's something of a mystery. Oh, I have a very high bitterness rating. This one's actually also not bitter. It's very smooth as yeah, well. This one... Yeah, I will say because I'm it's also a... not really an IPA person, but that doesn't really. Very smooth. Yeah, yeah. They're... man, it's hold on. I'm gonna have to go back to back. Uh, I, I am too. I am too. I was gonna say. I'm sorry. <laughs> Interesting. I wasn't expecting it to be that close, but like they're yeah. both very good. I think I'm, I like um, seventy seven like a little bit more. But... Interesting. I think I think I like Captain Dynamite a little bit better. I would personally be friends. Well see, I'll I'll split the difference. I like <laughs> Captain Dynamite taste more, but I like the way the can looks. That's true, and can uh, really does play a big I part in all of my it. Attention more. I mean, well, more because I like it. So which one which one gets your vote? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Captain Dynamite does get I agree. For better tasting. I, I mean, agree. Just... And look, I got this sticker. This Andrew, says, like, I think I'm like the complete opposite of you. Like I think like <laughs> this this can right here. Oh, that really? Well, yeah. I don't know. You something, guys can vote. A, about you guys a, can a vote in, at... a, in a in a tuxedo. Maybe. I mean, yeah, it's pretty dope too. <laughs> they're both it's so a win go, win for sure yeah go to votevoodoo.com and you can vote for your favorite and help us uh decide which one becomes the next official voodoo ranger ipa it's that simple it, and like if, <laughs> based on our recommendation only how many times can you vote um, is this is this like can i vote by mail situation maybe we shouldn't get into that <laughs> there was there was a there was a little in the box there was a little send in your mail vote. Oh. Apparently, wisely. apparently it it's going to go through multiple rounds of voting. So keep your eyes on that. All right. Now that we are properly juiced, yeah. let's uh, let's get into the drawing. Um, okay. So for your warm up, <laughs> I want you guys to draw. Uh, since since it's all like since we're doing we're talking about voting and stuff, I want you guys to draw a presidential style yeah. campaign poster for each other. For so each Ethan, other. you draw one. You dr 
you draw one for Andrew. All right. And Andrew draws one for Ethan. So I want to see like at least Present. like a caricaturized version <laughs> of Ethan and then like what his uh what what his slogan campaign slogan would be. This is our warm up? Yeah. All I'll right, give you guys 5 minutes on it and you just or let's do 3 minutes and then God. let you guys just this is like doodle a master, it out real quick. A masterwork or something. Yeah, I was like Jesus. Uh, it doesn't have to be a master one. I just want to see something cute. I'm just going off what you're supposed to read. Yeah, that's, that's, that works for me. Uh, and, and there we go. We're, we're, you, you really went, oh, I guess because we are voting. You went, you went political right off the bat. Well, I'm trying to be apolitical, but I'm trying to be democracy themed. <laughs> Election <enough>. themed. <laughs> <laughs> Are you drawing, Ethan? Are you drawing like the wall that it's? Yeah, be on? I started a little too big. I started like drawing the city, and then I like was like, "That's okay." Ethan always, yeah. You got to get your head in the right in the right place. He's trying to set the atmosphere. It's like in the big city, yeah. walking by. What kind of city alley. is this? You know, where do we live? Ethan today. <laughs> that was damn it. That was the slogan I was gonna do. <laughs> really good crop copywriters here. Okay. I think I think Andrew's like campaign slogan needs to be like, "Get me a haircut." <laughs> I okay. So I I this is the first time I've ever grown my hair out this long. I'm only doing I have that. never seen your hair so long. It's I, I know crazy. It's, it is. It's very scary. But because I mean I couldn't really get a safe haircut here, so. I was like, yeah. what can I do? And so I was like, why don't I just throw it out super long and then donate it? And I was like, I thought it was four, but... <laughs> Ethan, what's going point. on? This is like a, an interactive poster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is in the future. Yeah, this isn't like, like the 2020 election. This is like the 2050 election. Yeah, this is Blade Runner. Blade Runner. Running for president. <laughs> Am I gonna be a good president or am I gonna You guys you guys have fifty-eight seconds. <laughs> fifty-eight seconds. Oh, oh Jesus. Uh, uh, e uh, yeah, here we go. Now this poster fits. <laughs> Ethan. Ethan! Vote oh, wait, let me vote Ethan. Yeah. Oh, I didn't put a slogan, but I'll just <laughs> say please I'm yours is just gonna be please. Please clap. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Ethan. I hope that captured your like. Please. <laughs> hey, that is. That, I'm that like would, always saying that. That would very much be Ethan's <laughs> slogan. Please clap. <laughs> I like that you guys went with red and blue as well. Oh wow! Oh, I mean, yeah. red is kind of just like my go-to. Uh, Drawing color, but don't read into that. That doesn't mean I mean, I mean, to be fair, I, I said earlier, blue is like It's a good, up. you know what? They're good colors. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think that's pretty good. I mean, we got two very different stylized ones. Don't make it go away. Oh, I'll bring okay, that back. <laughs> well, I have to, we're going to draw now something we, else then. We have to judge now. Oh, we're already oh, judging. No. Neither Can't one we just to me. Be friends. Yeah, neither <laughs> one. No, of course not. Neither one to me strikes me as like. I guess Ethan is wearing a hat, so That's pretty true. good. And, and look, he's got little blushies. He's a happy, a happy guy. <laughs> and, and Andrews does have long hair. I don't know why he has a robot arm. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's it's twenty twenty five. Yeah, I, yeah. he's got a robot arm. Andrew, Andrew, I don't know. I don't know when it's going to happen, but sometime in the next 30 years or so, you're going to be losing your arm. I do, I do need this arm for a lot of things, though. I, I, I don't know. If, can we chop off my left arm instead? Uh, nope. The drawing has foretold it. Oh, okay, well. Oh, well. I feel like your my drawing of you definitely came out like more like Harvey Dent. <laughs> you did give me a very nice chin. I will. Yeah. I will. It, it comes down... It comes down for me to the uh, slogans, and I think please clap wins. Uh, so that's a, can't. That's a pretty good. One. I mean, right. please, please in general is very always a great slogan. I, know. <laughs> I don't think any 
campaign slogan has ever had the word please in it before, but it's a very polite campaign. <laughs> more, more, yeah, more polite campaign slogans, please. <laughs> Oh my God. Please, for your consideration. <laughs> for me. Be nice to me. Be, so say nice you. things about me. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so the next, uh, this one's going to be our first kind of big one. Uh, I think okay. I'm going to give you 12 minutes for this. But I want to see um, uh, the voodoo ranger skeleton man uh, oh. in a... <laughs> Style, I was thinking, you, you guys help me out here. Do you think style of the show you work on, like Andrew, like Camp Camp and Ethan Ruby, or do you think like just the style of a, like if Voodoo Ranger had a cartoon? Mm. I mean, I, I would like leave it a little like more see, open. Yeah, like just a stylized skeleton man cartoon. Okay. Andrew, I want you to go a little more like uh gravity falls esque okay. like oh, yeah. a little okay, a little okay. more cartoon network and then can do that. and then ethan i think more not quite anime but kind of more grungier like okay. a little heavier detailed all right so so i i and you can use the uh the guys from the can so you can do agent 77 ethan and you can do captain dynamite okay Andrew. perfect all right 12 minutes starting now go okay go <laughs> I haven't... Okay, so skeletons give me like college flashbacks and doesn't make me really happy because life drawing was always not fun. But yeah, <laughs> I, I will I will do my best to stylize it. I mean, the Voodoo Ranger guy, like, is he supposed to be like, or the one on Captain Dynamite? He's like, well, <laughs> I don't know. He's, he's... <laughs> It looks like he's gonna go like fight the power in a rebellion. <laughs> that's that's he looks like he's, he's like geared up. Has been doing that. Yeah, I think he just looks cold. <laughs> he looks cold. Well, he is wearing like <laughs> ski outfit and like, but and he looks. They they both look like they they have their own fashion. They know that's true. That's yeah, yeah. Agent seventy seven is definitely like a. Uh, he's like a. Uh, uh, archer type. Yeah. Yeah, know? totally. Although Agent 70, it keeps making me think of Soldier 76. Yeah. <laughs> Should have done like Overwatch style. <laughs> We're all skeletons now. We're all, <laughs> <laughs> We're all skeletons. Oh, yeah, that, that Down here. Work. We've already decided we have a prompt. Here. Yeah, I know. Like it's too late to go back. I like the perspective you're using, Andrew. Oh, oh I mean, I mean Ethan. Ethan. I don't know why I said Andrew. Like, I'm, not, I'm doing a, a cartoon. Uh, he's using. He's a storyboarder. I, I can't. You know, like when your teacher calls you the wrong name. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew. Or like when you uh, have you guys ever called teacher mom on accident? I was homeschooled, so mom, not not super. So weird. all the time. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. You have this. I, uh, my whole life though, people have been calling me Nathan or Ian, and then, and then really, like, yeah, I think Why? I just I mumble so, or do. oh, yeah, I hate that. Like, my wife's name is Holly, so she always like will say my name's Holly, and they'll be like Polly, and then like, no Holly, Molly, no Holly. <laughs> <laughs> How many times do I have to say it? It's like Holly, like Christmas is what she says to get them like on the right track. Like Christmas. <laughs> She has to st like start with that. Be like Holly. Christmas yeah. Well, that's what I do with my fucked up last name. Is just like they'll say, "And what's your last name?" And I'll say, "It's Swears, but I'm gonna spell it for you because hold on, <laughs> it's Don't about make to get crazy." Any assumptions. I'm gonna be yeah, because they always go for S. <laughs> to be honest, Swears, I always still. Uh, whenever I type out your name, I have to make sure I look at it again yep. on Slack. Yes. The same. most common mistake. The most common mistake is just flipping the I and the E. Yeah. That. Well, I mean, that's. Um, the, yeah. Yeah. It's not so much like for somebody hearing it for the first time, they they go straight for S. Um, sometimes they hear Spears, which is interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we got uh we got a question from the chat that uh oh. Heather sent me. Uh, Zebra ninety six wants to know uh what tablets you guys are using. Um, I'm using the uh, Wacom uh, the HD 13. 
it's it's the HD widescreen one because they have like the normal um, like the square one, but I have the. I have... Oh, Yours is very big. Yeah, my, mine's very big, very fancy. I. That was, okay. I was gonna say that was that was my first purchase when I like started out of college and like I need to start my art. It's a good investment. I don't. I'm. I'm using a big one. It's big, and uh, it used to be <laughs> Melanie's from from animation. So <laughs> I don't. I don't know what kind it is. <laughs> is it a Cintiq or a Wacom? It's a Cintiq Wacom. It's a Wacom. <laughs> it was, I, if I had to bet, it was, it was probably another the giant. One. Yeah, it's big. It's a big boy. Very nice. When uh, I started. At Rooster Teeth, like when I moved to Austin into the studio and stuff, um, I think RVB ten had just ended. So like a bunch of the people who were contract on that were like uh, just leaving, and uh, there was a bunch of like leftover equipment. Um, oh, so there was there was a Cintiq uh, lying around, and I was like, hmm, I wonder if this would improve my workflow at all. For RTAA, <laughs> which was just me using my mouse to draw everything and uh so for like half a day i set up a cintiq and tried working on it and no it was just easier with the mouse the mouse was easier yep i don't know for for that style in particular it was easier like i'm not actually drawing like maybe maybe after seven or ten years well yeah what has it been ten years now Maybe oh yeah again. i want to see like you you trying to do it and it just like keeps coming out like monet or like like really beautiful <laughs> it's not like, shitty it's... enough <laughs> <laughs> it was like um like isa recently got this cool like um it's almost like a powerpoint presentation remote that she uses for her tablet Ooh. um that i was like well if i had that it would be no problem because i hated because like i had all these like shortcuts and stuff uh that it was just easier to have like a mouse and keyboard like a mouse in one hand and keyboard on the other and like there weren't enough buttons on the cintiq to map all the stuff that i needed but she had this like she has this remote thing where she just has like it mapped to shortcuts so she just like she's drawing and using shortcuts at the same time so oh, uh, yeah yeah i think i, I think if i had had that it would have been easier yeah, yeah. Well, see, if that's what you're used to you were um, that's always Setup. Yeah, it was just, it was mostly because of what I was used to. But again, it's been 10 years. Why don't you try again? <laughs> I mean, I don't even think I can draw with a mouse anymore. I can't remember the last time I drew. Yeah. <laughs> Isa's in chat saying, Talk about me. <laughs> we just did. did. My great. remote. <laughs> yeah, Isa, that remote's cool. I should have had, I wish I had that. What kind of gun? Uh, does the uh, Agent 77 guy it's use? Does like it shoot Walther, bone bullets? Walther PPK, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, is, is, that like, <laughs> yeah. is that a James Bond reference? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I remember that from GoldenEye, the N64 <laughs> game. Oh, great. Runs like poop, but it's fantastic. Impossible to play now. You talk about, like, <laughs> going back and trying to, like... It, it that game is like trying to draw with a mouse. <laughs> it's crazy, yeah. yeah. It's crazy to think that we thought that was like cool, good controls <laughs> back in the day. Also, like yeah, like because the frame rate's terrible. It's like as a kid, anything on the N sixty four ran pretty terrible. And I'm like, how did I like? How did I think this was? Like yeah. yeah, it's like I mean, I feel like when I go back, it's like, why was this fun? <laughs> <laughs> why would I didn't have anything else? Why wasn't yeah, exactly. I reading more? <laughs> Books are for nerds. <laughs> I had that with like whenever you go and look at old graphics where it's like, I remember this looking better, but it was just your imagination filling in the gaps. Yeah. Like I had There's... that when they when they did like a it wasn't a remake, but it was a remaster of Final Fantasy VIII. Like I was watching the trailer and I was like looking at the graphics and I was like, Yeah, when is the like when does the remaster graphic show up? Because these graphics suck. <laughs> but then, like, I compared the graphics of the of the remaster to the original. I was like, oh, no, this is way better. Why did I think it looked better than this? 
had your your, your shitty glasses on that were just like, yeah. Oh. Yeah, your imagination just fills it in and makes a fun adventure for you. Yeah. There was a, a LucasArts game. It was like the Jedi Outcast games. And I remember the first time I played that, I was like, holy shit. Like, this is real. It looks yeah. the same as real life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you go back and look at those, and they're just like very polygonal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the same as real life. Yeah. Whoops, I dropped my phone. Uh, you, back you guys have three minutes. Oh God! What? Sorry. Oh. I mean, okay. I'll just go back. There you go. That, that was that was a quick problem solved. Minutes. Well, it hasn't been twelve minutes yet. It's been nine minutes. The best nine minutes of my life. Mm-hmm. I keep going back to the Captain Dynamite. It's very hard not to say Captain Dynamic after the <laughs> the short starring um oh my god, what's his name? How did I forget his name? The guy the guy from Bare Naked Ladies. Oh Flower uh Yeah. Yeah, yeah Captain know, Flowers, yeah. That's yeah. what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you mean that guy that did the uh, Big Bang theme song? It's crazy how really? much stuff they've done. You know, I was in one yeah, of their music so. videos. Ooh, I didn't know you were famous. Yeah, you know, no big deal. Wait, 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 what was that? Uh, there was, God, it was probably like 2013 or 2014. Uh, they, uh, <laughs> Captain Dynamite, mm-hmm. uh, they were, uh, they came out with a new song and like Rooster Teeth filmed a music video for it, so I have a cameo. You are famous. Yeah, people stop me on the street all the time, and they're like, "Wait, I saw you for a second in that bare naked ladies you. video." <laughs> and it's like, and "Yes, yes, it's wrong. me." Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Did you? I forgot when we when we moved out of stage five. All those. Um. Did you? Did you keep the banner that has your name spelled wrong on it? It's still there. It's still in stage five. Oh, oh, it is still there? Yeah. I need to, like, I, w- I want to move it, but I just don't know where we could put it. So it's just, it remains. At this point, the, like, there's been so, that room has changed so much. So in stage five, there's this, like, leftover set that they used for From Dusk Till Dawn, the TV show, um, that was our uh, 2D animation studio for, <laughs> it was our room uh, yeah. where all of us were in. Um, and yeah, there's a banner from a convention that had my name on it, and they spelled my last name correctly, and it was great. But somehow <laughs> they spelled my first name wrong. That's like a bit, <laughs> that's, right? That's like the best part of it. <laughs> yeah. So it says it says Jordan instead of Jordan, um, and so yeah, Carrie and Miles like uh, stole it from the convention and brought it back uh, <laughs> and hung it up in front of that building. Or that 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 office, and there's been so many like different departments in there that I'm pretty sure nobody who works there now knows what the joke is or why it's there. <laughs> it's just there though. Yeah. All right, what? time is up. Wait. No, time is up. Wait. Uh, bakers, time is up. Stop Wait. baking. Pencils down. <laughs> I like Ethan. Yours is like very stylized, like in like a. It looks like the opening of Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, that's what I like. Oh to hear. yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, the gun. The gun is. The gun is. But, and but, 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 Andrew, but, but, yours but, reminds but, me of like it, it's like Sands or something from Undertale, <laughs> which I also yeah. really oh, like. I love, it. <laughs> oh, man. I love the pose. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Drink some beer today. I honestly rather hang out with that guy. <laughs> this guy's gonna shoot me. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, that yeah, that but that guy's. They're both very very cool. Sure. Yeah, this one's a push for me. So good job, guys. You win. You both win. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Yes, it doesn't have to be a contest. I mean, I and it's and it's not, and it really isn't. But yeah, <laughs> you just like to point out. Things <laughs> the only contest is which beer are you gonna vote for? Go to votevoodoo.com for the next I, great Voodoo Rager IPA. I still think Captain. 
I didn't I haven't I even gone back to this was like a contest. Yet. And so <laughs> well it's in quotes, you know. But <laughs> my when my I told I asked my manager if I could do this, he was like, You better win. And I was like, What? <laughs> Pressure? <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It, it's like a who's line type deal like yeah you know, nobody really wins <laughs> no matter who wins we all lose that's a yeah alien it's a real decided. alien versus predator situation <laughs> <laughs> uh all right next prompt uh hmm let's see we did voting we did voodoo ranger let's do kind of want to do like the uh the overwatch aspect but Ooh. i want you to take your overwatch main oh what about me neither i want you to take your favorite <laughs> overwatch character i like even if gorillas. you have to google it ethan <laughs> okay. and make make a uh make a voodoo ranger version of them and try to get it as close as you can to that blizzard like uh style like in a 2D form, of mm. course. Um, Hold on a second. I'll give you a little longer on this. Oh, I'll give you 15 for minutes. Watch. Yeah, yeah. Gorilla. Well, you, you, Gorilla. Take two people who don't who don't play Overwatch. Now, now I don't want it to be like, like, uh, Winston's like body and then just a skeleton head. It needs to be like Winston skeleton. Oh, like an anatomically That's... correct gorilla skull. You know. What What if I What if I want to do bash? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you gotta ruin this, Ethan? Okay, fine. I'll pick a different character. I'll pick... Uh, uh, no, it's a joke. I know it's yeah. Andrew. Is Bastion a robot? Bastion's a robot. Okay. Robot. <laughs> I, Man, mean, I couldn't have, That's why I I couldn't have picked you. anyone worse for this, could I? <laughs> you, it's true. Uh, uh, find a way to make Bastion work if you want to do Bastion. Okay, right? okay. I'll do that then. I'll I want to see what you come up with. Okay. All right, are you guys ready? Uh, so yeah, wait, how, how, how long do we have on this? I'm going to give you 15. Okay. Seconds. Hours? Or... Sure. All right. Yeah. Go. Okay. <laughs> Draw with square head. Now, somebody suggested Xbox versus uh, PS5 in a console fight, but uh, we did a... Uh, Art to art happy hour for RTX. And one of one of the prompts I I gave was uh, <laughs> uh, reimagining uh, the next gen consoles as a different appliance because they all look like appliances. <laughs> Ooh, that's, that's true. And Aaron Wynn did the PS5 as a blender. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. It was like uh, like the discs went into the blender and you turned it on. <laughs> Aww. But really, though, what were they thinking with that new design? It, it looks like a, an internet router. It's so weird, yeah. I feel like everyone's reaction to, like, next-gen consoles design is always like, well, this is awful, and then, like, oh, aesthetics yeah. catch up to it, kind of. Yeah, totally. And they're like, actually, it's not so bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Ethan. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm really looking forward to this. <laughs> Oh, his little goggle. <laughs> yeah, he gets the goggle. His cool glass. Just one glass. Just just one glass. Yeah. Have you guys been playing a lot of Among Us? Uh a stupid amount. <laughs> I I've played a little bit of it. It's very I learned that I'm I'm not a very good liar. <laughs> <laughs> I learned yeah, that my I feel like I would be a, very stretched out. My girlfriend is a very good liar, and it's uh -oh. frightening. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're both like, she's like, I'm scared. I don't know why I'm so good at this. <laughs> she's like naturally good at it, and she's just like, I, I don't want to be this good at it. It's just, <laughs> I'm really good at killing people and then lying about it. <laughs> well, then like most of the games, like she'll like kill me first, and then... The rest of the game is just me watching her lie to like a group of people and everyone <laughs> There's like, nothing you can do to stop it. <laughs> yeah, nobody like even suspects her for a little bit. They're like, we definitely trust you, but 
Everyone else is sus. So, oh that's goodness. like the perfect kind of player, though. It's true. She's a beast. Yeah, I feel like I haven't, I haven't played yet, but I've been watching a lot of people play it, and I'm just like, I just imagine how stressed out I would be if I were the imposter. <laughs> because I get, I get stressed out when I'm the werewolf playing werewolves or something. <laughs> it's not so bad if you're, if you have like two people, but if you're just the only one, it's... Mm -hmm. Yes, totally. Achievement Hunter just did a Let's Play that came out last week where they, they did a really cool editing job um, where you kind of just see everyone individually without them being able to talk to each other. And, like, you get you get to see what they're seeing and, like, them trying to, like, talk through what's going on and stuff. Oh. It's, it was really it was really well done. And That's it awesome. really made me, like, want to play the game. I was surprised, like, because I didn't know the game came. Apparently, it was it's been out for like a year, like two years. Ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and then like, one, one person game. plays it and it takes off. Yep. Didn't it just I, it come out for like uh, the phone for free? I think. I think mm -hmm. that's part of it. Yeah. Oh. oh Is that dude, what you play on, Ethan? Out. Are you a phone player? Yeah, I'm not like a real gamer. <laughs> I am too. You picked. You picked some of the worst gamers apparently on the screen. Sorry. Jordan, do you remember when I first You're started at Rooster artists. Teeth and you asked me what Halo was? And I was like, I know what Halo is. It's a video game. And you're like, no, no. What is the Halo? And I was like, <laughs> it's... That's not, that's not the guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, the guy? <laughs> yeah, this guy, he fucking, he doesn't even know what a, a Halo does. He doesn't know that it's a <laughs> weapon designed to starve the flood by wiping out all edible... Or all sentient life, therefore starving the flood. I think I was like, isn't it like a Death Star? <laughs> 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 and I, I think it was early, so I was like, am I going to get fired right now? <laughs> yes. Yes, 100%. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how comfortable that makes me like for you to assume that I have the power to fire you, Ethan. <laughs> well, now I know. <laughs> don't don't let yeah. it go to your head, please. I think my first week, I like it. Or first few months, everyone could fire me if they wanted. Just like... <laughs> you're, you're on the bottomest rung. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The Who's janitor could fire you. Who I don't him like him. Get him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> the guy picked weird snacks to eat. Get out of here. <laughs> I, I'm the person picking weird snacks to eat. Um... I was gonna say when you, when Ethan first started, he was doing like a bunch of like he had like so many random tasks as his job, but one of them was to uh, edit uh, audio. Yes. From from uh, some of our out of house like people, uh, voice actors who set stuff in, and it would always make Ethan so happy when he got uh, Yo Yotam. Yotam. Yes. Yotam, oh, uh, yeah. Yotam Peril's uh, Harrison lines because he would put like little messages in them. <laughs> <laughs> He'd always be like, is this good? Please don't fire me. <laughs> and Ethan was like, oh, I could relate. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I also don't want to get fired. Yeah, that was the best. I think I would just like message you like, oh, look out for this part. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> Bird. Are you? <clears throat> excuse me. Are you looking up like what a gorilla skull looks like, Ethan? No, I just know. I have this. Oh, weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just look at skeleton <clears throat> skulls like every night before I go to bed. <laughs> Not weird. It calms me. <laughs> yeah, I definitely am. <laughs> Let, let's see. Yeah. Uh, you guys are about halfway through. You have about eight minutes left. Oh. You're making good time. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. I, I'm literally, I'm just drawing the characters with skeleton heads and then putting the little masks and, and stuff in it. So that's my <laughs> It's a very tiny bastion body you have. Look, I'm, I'm, I don't have time to draw a full bastion. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to draw the one of the most complex characters, though. I like robots. <laughs> that's for fun. Bastion's so cool. The the little bird I thought was Sonic for a second. I thought you were drawing a little Sonic. 
I mean, he's got the... I mean, I can. Do you want me to turn him into No, I didn't. I will. We don't need to make everything about Sonic, Andrew. <laughs> why not? Yeah, why not? What's your favorite video game, Ethan? Uh, Probably The Last of Us Part 2. Honestly, that was wow. like, really Interesting. like... I know that's like you're a more, hot, hot take. You're but. you're more of a cinematic gamer. Yeah, like that and Uncharted. I feel like those aren't like the most like uh, gamer games, but I just I like to watch a movie that sometimes lets me interact with it. You would you would love Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> that I which one? Like I watched some of those. Oh really? I watched Connor play a couple of. Um, um, I would probably start with. Oh, well, it depends how much you like story and how much you like story to make sense. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it has to be a fun story. Even if it doesn't make sense, as long as it's fun. It's definitely fun. And yeah. the kind of, it's, it's fun in a very pulpy kind of way, I guess. But, the uh, thing I always think a pulp about action movie. with those games is like how that one character kind of got a lot of flack for like having like a pretty revealing costume. Oh, yeah, and, and Kojima was like, like You're yeah. going to be really, you're going to feel so <laughs> dumb when you find out why she's dressed like that. <laughs> it's like, she has the, like some. <laughs> yeah, she needs like, she's like a plant, basically. She needs yeah. like su- sunlight contacting her skin. It's like, it's like dude, well, that you just made seems that like a. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice save, guys. Still yeah. your idea. <laughs> exactly. You're gonna be really. You're gonna look so foolish when you figure out why I contrived this scenario for her. To look <laughs> you're this gonna way. feel really dumb when you find out this ridiculous thing I did. <laughs> <laughs> but they they do look super fun. <laughs> yeah, Metal Gear Solid Five was was actually a lot of fun. Um, Is that that one the one that's like kind of open world? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a different one. But I I had a lot of fun playing it. The first one I played was actually four. I watched my brother play two and three and uh four was the first one i played and then when metal gear solid 5 came out i actually hadn't bought any of the current gen consoles yet so i was like guess i gotta make a choice so i, now, I bought a I, time, yeah, yeah i bought a ps4 and and bought metal gear solid 5 no regrets it was very good that's awesome um i wonder i haven't played death stranding but i that one is definitely like a lot of people either love it or they hate it yeah so i'd be curious about like if you played it ethan and what you thought i really so. want to play it because it looked like ridiculous to me and then but i really like i don't know if y'all like there's some youtubers that i like that did a review of it that, that made mm-hmm. it look like really like a of an experience and i feel I like, like it, it has to be that kind of game because it uh, again, I haven't played either, but all I know is is from the the trailers, and it's it's just the guy from from uh, from uh, The Walking Dead, and then it's yes. just carrying babies everywhere. Is that <laughs> yeah. all it is? It's I like a delivery them. man. <laughs> Somebody called it like a walking simulator, I think, or that was kind of like the. <laughs> and I can only oh, imagine the story is like bananas nuts. Yeah, I, I mean it has to be if, if that's the if that's all they they advertise. They're like, okay, it has to be some some sort of crazy story added to it. How much time do we have left? I'm glad you asked. I'm gonna guess none. Three minutes and thirty one seconds. Oh, is that enough? I wanna I wanna add him holding the drink, but maybe maybe he's got. <laughs> How one is he holding big. the drink? He's is he smashing it? Oh yeah, yeah. his his battery pack. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) he got a really huge. Oh my god! One on his back. (laughs) It's uh. That is a great idea. A little birdie. Bastion can't drink it because he's a robot. So it's very. (laughs) (laughs) Little itty bitty. Tweet tweet drink drink. (laughs) Guz, guz. <laughs> oh shit! You, Ethan, do you have a favorite like kind of like, I guess like classic franchise of video games, like a Zelda or a Sonic or a Mario? Oh, um, 
I mean, is Half Life considered that? I mean, like Man. definitely Zelda. Zelda's up there. Okay. Half Life Two. Yeah, Half Life's really good. I, I like remember playing Half Life when I was a kid, just because I liked the feeling of like walking around the cool laboratory <laughs> <laughs> of Black Mesa. It was like, yeah, I, I'm a scientist. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and then like the game actually starts and things go wrong. I was like, this is no longer fun. Yeah, this is just <laughs> you know, now. <laughs> I was always really drawn to like the role playing aspect um, of games, and like you mentioned, you mentioned like Jedi uh, Outcast. There was a yes. an a online aspect to that game. Um, yeah, and like you could like really? th there were role playing servers that like you could like pretend to be Jedi and stuff. Um, it oh, was I actually really cool. Yeah, drink me. <laughs> I didn't really get into the role playing games until like later in life. I was just always the I need a character to run forward and then mm -hmm. jump around. That was my simplicity. Did you I remember like when the N sixty four came out and I think I played this before uh Ocarina of Time, but Quest sixty four. I I never had it but a friend of across the because I didn't I didn't get the N sixty four until I like Please. Right. One of my friends. One of my friends had that game. That was one where I was like, I was like, yeah, I can go anywhere and do anything. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Yeah, it really like opened my eyes to the possibilities of like 3D. Do y'all remember like Jet Force Gemini and like that era of like rareware, rareware games? I was a big uh, Banjo Kazooie fan. Oh, yeah. so fun. and Perfect Banjo Perfect TV. Dark. Yeah, Perfect, Perfect Dark was awesome. Yeah. See, Banjo is another game though. Like back then, it ran like two frames per second on the N sixty four. The so Xbox three hundred and sixty remake is actually really good. Yeah, because it, it actually runs well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it fixes some like quality of life stuff. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, there's, Banjo there's my, is How much time do we have left? My... Uh, man, I guess I gave you guys too much time. You have five seconds. Okay, well then that's perfect. <laughs> Wow, so good. I like the bird and his yeah. tiny body. <laughs> <laughs> my, my Very interesting. Child skull <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> and then Ethan's is actually, I like how atomically correct yours is. Wow. Ethan, and then his <laughs> big old <laughs> rocket booster. <laughs> I gotta, um, I gotta say, Ethan probably takes this one just, just for the, the just big, for the, for the, for the, yeah, the giant drink me. I, he, Andrew ain't <laughs> even last minute edition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we have time for one more. So, um, and the reason I was, I was, uh, inquiring about your favorite <laughs> game, Ethan, uh, is because I want you to draw a little link. Oh hell yeah! Um, but I want, I want these to be kind of dynamic. So like, think like not so much like the art in the game, but like on like the box or like in the instruction booklet, like mm -hmm. that kind of key yeah. art. Um, so I want it to be kind of dynamic. Um, but it's for you. It's Link doing something cool uh, with a skeleton head and. <laughs> <laughs> for Andrew Sonic doing like a cool running or like something something in in motion uh with a skull oh, with a skull with a I don't know how it's going to work with Sonic but <laughs> I have an idea um, uh this one this one's going to be this one's going to be a 12 minute okay <laughs> I just want to see I just want to google if someone has already made I mean this is a TikTok I need to look Sonic uh, no, yeah, I don't I know. Gotta, then no. you're gonna get on a list. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> Never mind. I'll, I'll figure uh, it out. Just <laughs> instead of in man, what is you know how he has just one big eye? Yeah. Like this? Oh god, it is. What is that gonna, gonna look one like? <laughs> one big hole. What did you oh ask god. me to draw? <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Uh, okay. You monster. Um. Sure, I guess. Uh, yeah, just and then and then there. 
and started racing stuff on his head. Yeah, I'll do like a little mug <laughs> thing where I like just draw a, draw a detailed head and then erase yes. the lines and you have a circle. <laughs> yeah, when you draw like a really detailed Sonic head and then you erase it and there's a skeleton underneath. <laughs> That's like, what I should do. Yeah. That's not how you guys draw. I always draw the skeleton and then the and then the the, the muscular it. system and then cardiovascular. I definitely <laughs> tried to. I think there was system. like a period of art where I was like trying to like always do that, and I was like, okay, you gotta. Yeah, can't you don't have time for this. That. You gotta speed yeah. up. How am I gonna? Sonic was not made to have a. Is, is Sonic's? Uh, is his hair also bone? Is that gonna well, be? I, I mean, it's gonna have to be. How else would you tell with Sonic? You just be. You just be a circle. <laughs> right. <laughs> Here's, you're asking me to, to know the, anon, uh, the uh, anatomy. Of nah, you're going to make it work. I believe in you. He wouldn't really have a nose then either. He, mm, <laughs> he should have a nose still. Oh, okay, so the nose doesn't count, but... it's His nose is bone, it's not cartilage. Hole. It's a different kind of... It's just a different kind. <laughs> it's a different kind of bone. Sure. A different kind of bone. What kind of pose you going for, Ethan? Like he looks like he's in like mid dance. It's I was going for like a end of like baseball swing kind of ah. like. base big baseball. But boy. he also might be doing like a it's like Kevin Bacon movie. <laughs> dancing. <laughs> Dirty dancing. Uh no. Footloose. Footloose. That's right. Yeah. Dirty Dancing Swayze. Yeah. Both solid movies. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what. Keep going, doing. Andrew. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right now. It looks good. I'll just draw the, the there you go. Head. That's Sonic. Well, yeah, but now I gotta make him a skeleton somehow. Yeah, good luck. Uh, we'll just... <laughs> oh, that's very scary. Yeah, and then we'll just we'll, yeah. OC, do not do not steal my do not Sonic. Steal. Um, have Have you guys ever ever like looked up your name and then the he Hedgehog to see yes. which Sonic OC you are? We did that in the office. Yeah, uh, there, there was a day where we just everyone typed in their name, and there was there was not only was there a character, there was like a bio of what that character. <laughs> That's amazing. Let me look up Ethan the Hedgehog. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, there's some good ones. Okay, I like this one because he has like stats and stuff. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. They all have like, yeah. stats and like the relation. Like one, like one of them, I remember was like Sonic's a distant cousin related from a different planet. And I was like, "Here, Ethan, uh, put this on your screen so everyone can see it." I just, I just sent it to the Discord. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> your abilities are flying, and other air-related abilities, and great dagger skills. Oh my god. <laughs> You're also very smart, calm, oh. serious. You're very patient. A bit, <laughs> true. A bit edgy, lol. <laughs> a bit I have edgy. to be honest with you guys. I wrote this. <laughs> this is yours. This is my OC. <laughs> yeah, looks and sounds just like you. And so if it, I'm if a it was edgy. you, would be like very polite but very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Generally shameful. <laughs> Please don't fire me. <laughs> yeah, embarrassed. embarrassed. Oh my god. <laughs> You're it is it's turning out really good. You're doing great. The the only thing is he's not in a very dynamic pose, but I'm I'm trying to get the the, but you're, the but you, anatomy you're, down for you have a tall <laughs> task yes yeah let me, let me just get the Ethan are you gonna okay you're drawing the the classic hat as well 
Yeah, he's looking a little more like Santa Claus than I wanted. Ho ho ho, bitch. Ho <laughs> oh, ho ho, Ganon. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the hair too. Yep. Oh, he's an elf. Oh my god. <laughs> he's Hylian. I'm not Googling that. <laughs> I'm not Googling it either. What was that one game? Was it a... It was like the shitty Sonic, like, 3D game that was, like, fan-made. They played it on Game oh, Grumps. Yeah, you're, the one you're where like you Sonic Dreams Collection. Sonic Dreams Collection. Yes, where you do take off Sonic shoes. You take off Sonic shoes and, and he has toes. You give his feet the tickles. Oh, my What? <laughs> It's a nightmare. <laughs> so, to answer your question, yes, he has toes. He doesn't. Yes, he does. <laughs> All right. Ethan, Ethan the Hedgehog is back. <laughs> you can't escape. We're, we put him, put him over Ethan's camera. <laughs> oh, he's yeah. he's holding the the voodoo wrench. <laughs> <laughs> he's got great Captain Dynamite skills. <laughs> What a what what a sellout! Oh my god. <laughs> so Ethan the Hedgehog, big fan of Captain Dynamite. Yeah. That's who he's voting for. Mm. He's going to voodoo uh, vote voodoo dot com and voting like for Captain him. Dynamite. Be like him. <laughs> oh, I like that he's cutting another skeleton in half. Yeah, it's one of, uh, you know, those a stealth guys. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. You guys have four minutes. Oh, geez, Louise. Oh, God, okay. Uh, <laughs> this is what we're doing now. Like yeah, that's how bones work. work. <laughs> well, you know, he wouldn't have ears. He wouldn't have any of this stuff. That's cartoon bones. That's yeah. how yeah. they work. Yeah, know, that's cartoon then, logic bones. <laughs> His, he'll have like yeah, candy corn looking, <laughs> <laughs> looking spikes. The hair bones. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hair hair bones is not a word that should exist. The leg bone connects to yeah the hair. to the hair looks, bone. At, at least his lower body kind of looks okay. I'm waiting because he's dead. Yeah, yeah, he is. He went, I was gonna have him do the the tap in the foot. <laughs> What was the time? It was four minutes ago, about one minute ago. Huh. That's so. So now you have math three to minutes. Do. <laughs> <laughs> These are uh, pretty rough. Yeah. No worries. Trust me. I I don't think quality is the. Uh, well, I really. Game. We're just I really having like, fun. I like yeah. the framing and stuff that you went with, Ethan. Your storyboard artist skills Thank are really you. showing through in this one. It's very, it's very uh, acting. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have the like art of um, Ocarina of Time book, so I was just like thinking Ooh. about all that stuff. Yeah, it's kind of muddy in here. Clean it up. Too muddy. Yeah. Around the hands, things seem to get a little, uh, you know, loose. So Just <laughs> journal. <laughs> Time for <laughs> instead of a ring, he's collecting. Yeah. Cans. Well, there, there you go. That's what Sonic's. Uh, um, that's what he looks like. That's it's like. pretty horrifying. I, I agree, which is why, <laughs> why he has skin. It's very important that he has skin. So you have one minute and 45 seconds left. Oh. So if you want to add anything else to it. Oh, oh <laughs> that got dark. Dead tails, woo. <laughs> <laughs> He's just saying, Sonic, why? I thought we were friends. Does he still have the little, like, stick on? 
Yeah, hair bone. Hair, hair, yes, connects to the leg bone. bone. Why would it connect to the hair bone, Ethan? Everything connects to the leg bone. <laughs> That's how the song goes. <laughs> Everything does. <laughs> it's the nexus of the body. Yeah, there you go. And then he has. All right, fifty seconds to go, Ooh. baby. We're almost where this is going to be it. This is. Wind, we're winding down. There. <laughs> He's like a pile of bones. <laughs> and, and some tails. And some tails. Is that blood coming out of the, uh, the Stalfos there, Ethan? Uh, it's just some particle, you know? It's just like a, a little bit of... Little bone, little bone bits. Yeah. It's bone right, marrow. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, cool. You are done. You had you had fifteen <laughs> seconds to spare. Oh shit! This one's hard to choose because the skeleton anatomy is perfect on uh, Andrews, but yes, the ah. prompt did call for a dynamic shot, which either. So. <laughs> I'm glad you got you uh, acknowledge my um my anatomy. Right, right. So solid. <laughs> Cody's having oh, a lot of fun. I like that. <laughs> His spikes are bones. Oh my god. I, I, I hadn't just played it. <laughs> the ears are so good. All right. Well, that'll do it for us. So I just want to thank Voodoo Ranger again for sponsoring this art to art. Uh, go to votevoodoo.com and vote for either Agent 77, a refined IPA brewed with International Nelson, Sovin, and Galaxy Hops, or Captain Dynamite, a hazy IPA juice with Mosaic, Simcoe, and Cascade Hops. Uh, these are the cans. Uh, we tried them earlier. Um, you can't really go wrong with either. Come on, face the camera. Um, <laughs> But I'm voting. I, Captain Dynamite has my vote. So they're both they're um, pretty close. Yeah. So we're yeah. going to votevoodoo.com, and we're going to help decide the next official Voodoo Ranger IPA. Drink up. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you, guys. This is great. Tell your manager you won, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> you do the same, Andrew. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs>